What's up, guys? In this video, I want to talk about how to use Sublime to draw some waves and some patterns. And with that being said, let's begin. First, I want to do some preparation before starting. I want to make sure that I activate the grid mode. So I also want to make sure that the grid setting, right click your mouse, you will see that grid setting, select it, and we have the grid spacing one by one. We have the snap spacing 0 .0 by 0 0.5. Click OK. So I also want to switch on object snap and click this small angle. Make sure that we select eight point midpoint and geometric center. So I want to keep the decimal as a unit. So make sure that uh, we zoom we zoom a little bit uh, we use we use the mouse wheel slightly change a little bit to zoom out make sure that we have at least the two row of the major grid so i want to find the sublime command first look at the Home tab and the draw panel. Click the little small triangle and extend the panel. We see that on the left, so here is the spline. It's like the S icon. We can click it and activate it to start drawing. We can also go to the command window, type in spline and hit enter. I want to begin with the first point on the design. Here, this is the first point. Left click your mouse, and I want to go through the triangle direction along the major grid and end at the corner of the major grid here. And then I want to go down through the triangle direction and end at the major grid corner. I want to keep uh, going down and uh, end up at the major grid corner here and then going up along the diagonal direction and at the corner of the major grid and keep doing going up along the diagonal angle direction and the end at the corner of the major grid and then going down and then going down and then going up so it's hard to see I want to use pen to zoom a little bit and then exist so I want to and at this corner of the major grid and uh, right click the mouse hit enter we can zoom zoom out a little bit slightly move your move your wheel on the mouse we are going to see a uh, the new soil wave. Let's use the pan command move up a little bit of this this sinusoidal wave and it exists. And now we want uh, we want to start another drawing with the spline command. Let's go to the top left extend the draw panel, activate the spline icon. Click it. So 
So before, before, before start drawing, before start drawing with this blend, I want to draw. I want to hit the escape and uh, draw a square. Let's start from here and uh, end at here. So right now I want to activate slide mount here. And basically I want to start the point from the corner and then go through the center of the square and end another neighbor corner and then stop it let's draw it start the corner go through the center and end at another neighbor, neighbor corner right click your mouse and enter and then I want to keep drawing the spline and can hit the space key on the keyboard okay I activated the spline let's start drawing the first point is on the corner and go through the center of the square and end add another neighbor corner And uh, I want to stop it and uh, I can hit the space key on the keyboard. Okay, let's start drawing with the spline. Hit the keyboard again. Hit the space key on the keyboard again. Okay. Select the corner, go through the center, and, uh, and add another corner. Hit the space key. Stop. Stop drawing the spline and activate the spline mount by hitting the space key again. Select the corner, go through the center, and stop another neighbor corner. Hit the space key. Okay, this is not what I want, so I can use the Control Z to return to cancel the sublime drawing. So let's let's activate the sublime and uh, finish the last drawing. Select the corner. Go through the center and end at the corner. Right click your mouse and select enter. Okay. I finish the pattern with the sublime drawing. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any question, please feel free to let me know.